What's up everybody? Happy New Year. Today we're here at Stokes Honda North. We're going to be taking a look at a 2013 Dodge Durango Citadel Edition. We haven't had one of these that I know of on the channel in a few years and uh, today I really wanted to point this car out to you, let you see it. And it is for sale. Every vehicle on our YouTube channel is a for sale vehicle right here. So uh, you're more than welcome to comment. Let us know if you're interested in a vehicle you see on the channel. There's over 2,300 videos on this YouTube channel. So I tell you, go ahead and subscribe. Now what we'll do is we'll do a condition report, check the car out, see what is going on with it, some of the options, and if there is any dents, dings, or scratches, I'll point them out to you. So let's go ahead and start out on the front end here. First off, headlights look good. You got projector headlights right there, you got your brights over here. Your white looks nice with the chrome grill. I mean, look at that. That is pretty sexy if you ask me. Fog lights down on the bottom bumper. Again, the chrome is extended onto the bottom bumper. You know, Dodge has stepped up the game over the years and really have made their vehicles a standard. That's right. And, uh, and take a look at it. We always like to look at our wheels. Now these are 20 inch. I can spot a wheel and say 18, 17, 15, 20. And that's a 20. It's a five star. You can't go wrong with five stars. And then your tires on here are your Goodyear four Forenses or for, Fortes or Forterra. Forterra, that's right. <laughs> it's a 265 50 series tire. So you still got a little bit of a low profile tire because you got a 20 inch rim. You know, size matters and size looks good, okay? The bigger the rim, the better it looks, I would say. Sometimes you lose a little ride quality with a big rim, but when you still got a big tire like that, you're keeping the quality. Now you got your chrome mirrors with your LED lights on there. You got your running boards on the bottom or running rails. Again, Citadel Edition. You got tinted windows that go all the way to the back, sunroof. Roof racks up top, okay? So this, this vehicle's pretty well loaded. And when we get on the inside in a minute, you'll see some of that right there. Um, also, uh, you know, when you got an SUV this size, you're gonna wanna be able to do some towing. So you do have your tow package right here. This is a Corbin's tow package to get the job done. Backup sensors and then also a backup camera there. So you got the camera, you got the safety with the sensors and all that good stuff. Now when you open this up, Power tailgate. I can't tell you how many moms out there comment on the videos and say, look, I love how you talked about that power tailgate feature. So I want to point that out to you as well. And uh, the Durango is going to come standard third row seats, as you can see here. So first, second, third row, great for carpool and getting the kids in. Now we'll point out to you right now while we're here, you do have captain row seats. So with the captain rows, that makes it easier for the kids to get back into the third row. And hey, if you got boys and girls or two boys, it keeps them separated, okay? So I suggest captain row seats. That's a great thing. All season floor mats, all season cargo tray in the back, and then a 12 volt outlet to go out there and have some fun tailgating. Now. Uh, there's a button right there, press that. Should drop that down any minute, there we go. Takes about two seconds, drops it down on the Durango. And then uh, on the inside, let's take a look. Now this Durango has, let's see how many miles it's got on it. 29,467, got a 3.6 under the hood. Um, wood trim, power windows, power door locks, you got all that, okay? Again, this car's pretty loaded up. Tan leather, that always looks nice, don't it? And it's perforated with the holes in it. Lets it breathe and stay cooler. Good looking seat there. I do notice a little bit of wear right there, which is pretty common on, on SUVs because people are getting in and out. But you do have power seat, power lumbar. Let's keep moving through. Sunroof, leather wrapped steering wheel. You got your audio and cruise control right there. Multi-information display screen. You got a nice little nav screen here with your radio functions, dual climate control, heated steering wheel, and heated seats, automatic transmission. I'm just going down the options, folks. Um, also have a uh, center console, with, which is leather wrapped there for your elbow, and then plenty of room in the back. Now, one feature I'm gonna point out to you right now that you're gonna like is rear entertainment. You have it in this particular Durango. Press that button there, that screen drops down. There's a remote right up top. See how it's got the Dodge logo on there? Um, this is a HD screen, and it's gonna keep the kids occupied. Disc one, disc two. Isn't that kind of funny how you could switch up the screen display in there? That's pretty nice. Um, we got the headphones right here. Again, you got rear heated seats in the back. My favorite option on vehicles, I love how they started doing this, 115 volt AC watt outlet, 150 watt. And um, you got your hookups for your PlayStation or whatever, and then rear heated seats. 
in the back. And then like we mentioned, Captain Rose. So very nice, got a lot of options on this Durango. And it's solid as you can hear right there. And it's running right now. You know, it's pretty quiet. But again, it's a 2013 Citadel Edition right here at Stokes Honda. You know, I can tell you right now, if you're looking to buy a vehicle, come on down and see him at Stokes Honda. My friend Travis Westbury is the general manager, does a great job, keeps everybody happy from sales to service to employees to uh, customers. What a great guy. Come on down and see us right here at Stokes Honda. Again, comment on the video. We'll post the price on there for you. Let us know. You're welcome to fly into Charleston. We'll pick you up from the airport or just drive on in if you live in the Carolinas. We'll see you soon. Thank you and hit the subscribe button. We'll see you then.